What is going on guys? Dustin here with another NASCAR Diecast review and today we're taking a look at possibly one of the first ever cars that we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing. I'm sure it's not gonna be the last as well. So however, this is actually a special diecast review anyway. But this is actually still we're still gonna do the old traditional old diecast review. So this is the Chase Elliott All-Star Race Win, but this is actually no regular race win as, you know, what you expect. Actually, if you actually do happen to have this one without this feature, it's still going to be the same one either way. So today we are taking a look at the Chase Elliott 2020 All-Star Race at Bristol Race Win. And this is the race win as it appears. Here is the box itself. You got the 2020 race winner, Lionel Racing, the official diecast of NASCAR. You got the render. You got the NASCAR All Star 2020 race winner logoing. You got Chase Elliott, number nine, Universe All Star win, 2020 Camaro ZL1. Now, now, that fourth line, it says light up. Yes, it is a light up. Now, however, if you actually don't, if you actually did not order the uh, the light up version and got the regular version instead, it's still going to be the same either way. I think there was also a, I think I forgot to take it out anyway. Aha. And there we go. Oh yeah, it's like this car right here. I I finally got to getting these up here as well so it's very awesome yes I am a Chase Elliott fan as you can tell by all of these cars here here's a race winner car we got Chase Elliott NASCAR all-star race winner from Bristol Tennessee on July 15th of 2020 the time of the race took an hour and eight minutes and ten seconds that's actually real quick Start 13th with a total last 140. Five cautions for 13 laps, which are basically all stage in stage innings. There was actually a spin there as well, caused by Kurt Bush. Chase only led 16 to win and held off a charging Kyle Bush. Oops. <laughs> Elliott races to all-star title at Bristol. On a historic night at Bristol Motor Speedway, Chase, Chase Elliott drove away with his first ever all-star race win and the one million dollar prize with his excellent victory under the short track lights elliott became the only driver other than his father bill elliott to win in an all-star race at a track other than charlotte motor speedway now, bill elliott did won an all-star race at atlanta motor speedway and this is like back in the 80s there was other than Charlotte Motor Speedway. Now, I really like the idea of, you know, having the all-star race to other different tracks. You know, think about this. The MLB game, the MLB all-star game is always hosted at a different stadium. Doesn't matter where. Last year, it was supposed to be at Dodger Stadium before the pandemic. This year, it should have been Atlanta, but it got moved to Colorado for some BS reasons. MLB was up with you. The Elliots are now the only father-son combination besides the Earnharts to have to have won the Sports All-Star Exhibition. Dale Earnhardt won the All-Star Race, and his, Dale Jr. and his son Dale Jr. did in 2000. So, now talk. Let's get to the review. Now, here is the car itself, as the way it appears. After the checker flag was thrown, you can actually see all right off the bat we have a little piece of the uh, fender back here ripped off. I guess it was before it was from this uh, burned out tire right here. Now you actually may notice that the numbers are actually now slanted back because NASCAR wants to try to uh, move the numbers back for more sponsorship opportunities now. To me, you could do that for the All-Star Race, but guess what? Other than that, I really don't like that kind of idea. You know, just leave the numbers on the door. 
wouldn't be a problem. So here's the car itself. We got a Unifirst, which is actually ironically the first ever time we ever have a Unifirst car. Uniform, Services, and Solutions. And we actually did got some track kick up. Specs, dirt, debris, free, etc. And got the NASCAR Cup Series banner and the windshield. Got a number nine with the Unifirst. And we got Chase Elliott's na name, the uh, state flag of Georgia, and also the uh, race winner sticker he got. Now, the only way to get into the All-Star Race is either win a race prior, before the All-Star Race, or afterwards, whatever comes first, or already have won the All-Star Race, which Chase Elliott did, or win a championship, like what Chase Elliott did. I mean, we'll keep on going back. Got the back right here. The Chase Elliott's name. Also, Napa Auto Parts is on it. And on the back, we got Universe. Sorry if it's a little bit dark. And so, here, here we have the sides. Actually, it's going to be one side. You can see a lot of brake dust accumulated up on the wheels. We got 3M, we got Sunoco. Now it's got NASCAR Cup Series right here. NASCAR Salutes. We got the big Unifirst sponsor. Up on the way back, up on the B pillar, we have Exalta, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools, Siemens. And Cincinnati Corporations. We also have Kelly Blue Book up here, Valvoline Motor Oil, Napa Auto Parts, Hooters Mountain Dew. Now, Mountain Dew is actually a little bit obscured by this uh, tire mark right here, which I guess a, a piece of a uh, tire whipped around. Possibly did that. And the other side's the same way. Of course, there are some uh, scuffing tire marks. And, and we all know Bristol is the home of uh, short track, short tempers, and uh, a lot of bumping and banging. And actually, prior before the, that race, during the All Star Open, we actually did saw some tempers flaring between uh, with a. Uh, Poor old Bubba Wallace, who actually came into the race with an opportunity to get into the the big show itself by popular fan vote, but instead he got bumped and turned by Michael McDowell. Right, so let's take a look at underneath. Here we have the uh, the front. Front end, we got a radiator up there. We also got the car wheels do turn. We also got the unmolded chassis. The transmission, the engine are all in one piece. The drive shaft, rear differential, the exhaust. Now you may notice the back here is a little bit different, which is usually the fuel tank, but I'm going to go over that next. What they actually did was once they want. Once Chase Elliott took the checkered flag, there was actually an offer for the light-up versions of these cars, which actually costed a little bit more than usual, but if you think about it, if you use my coupon code Kruger at checkout with Plan B Sales or Circle B Diecast, you can actually get one of these cars shipped to you for free. Now, each of these underglow, underglow lights have different colors, but the three ones that they did were a manufacturer car, manufacturing logos. We got red for Toyota, blue for Ford, and look at that, orange for Chevrolet. And actually, go, 
turns on back here, but it's actually a little much more. Why is actually a little more back here rather than a little bit of excess right here? Now, if I actually do turn off the light up here, let's see what it looks like with the light. I'll turn off. It actually does not look that bad. It kind of looks like the car is on fire from underneath. But I'm sure that the uh, the Toyota ones and the uh, Ford ones are actually not that bad too. It's just a little bit of a different underglow. Now let's see what the uh, main light off would look like. Yeah, it looks like it's on fire. <laughs> Other than that, it looks cool. So, how you actually get, get this turn on? You see this little screw right here? You take a precision screwdriver and you go counterclockwise. It'll expose the battery compartment. And all you have to do is put three LR44 batteries in. I actually had to go to a battery store in town just to get it because the ones I had in there did not work. It was a 357, but it's actually really adapt really adaptable to it. Now if you really need need batteries, I will link that down in the description below. It is from a Batteries Plus who did actually did a great job with me uh, help helping me out getting them. So if you walk into a Batteries Plus store, you know, I say, hey, I need a uh, three LR44 battery batteries for or something like this, they'll help you out on it. Oh, I also forgot to mention a short spoiler too on this thing. And the hood actually does open. Just actually didn't flick that way. So we're gonna have to get in there with a screwdriver just to get in. Oops. <laughs> Really don't like it when the hood does not open the first time. Sometimes you gotta get in there with a precision screwdriver just to open it up. Now, this car does roll a little bit awkwardly. That's because of the uh, the left rear, rear tire it actually got shredded when Chase did his burnout. Let me take this uh, light down real quick so that way y'all can see the inside of the engine. Oops. <laughs> There's the engine, which you can actually barely see. And other than that, this car actually does look pretty nice with the underglow. But the one thing that I wish they would have done is they would have at least done it around the whole entire car. Now, if you actually remember watching a video with uh, Kurt Busch doing a burnout with the underglow, it actually looks real nice. You know, underglow... He had the green, basically he was in a Monster Energy car, the number one Camaro, had underglow all around. It was like illuminated green. Now, I really wish they actually do something like that in the future, but have like the sponsor, her color corresponds to whoever's driving for them. Like, for example, if Chase Elliott were to run a Napa Auto Parts car, the underglow would be blue. Or Hooters would be orange. Or if Kyle Busch were to race M&Ms, it would be yellow. Or Interstate Batteries, green. Sports Clips. Or Craftsman, red. Bass Pro Shops would look nice with the orange underglow. For Martin Truex. Or for Kevin Harvick, blue for Busch Beer. Now, I don't know for black and maybe... Purple or black light would be acceptable, but I don't know. So, overall, I like this race win review. It does look nice. The underglow adds a really nice touch to it. You can actually do see it, see it much clearly. It is actually orange because it's a you know orange core response to Chevrolet. Now, do they sell these at the uh, souvenir haulers? When I was at Atlanta Motor Speedway the first time, they didn't sell them because around that time, 
they didn't get, get out fast enough. Hopefully, at the tracks where you're at, these are already out. And right here. And I don't know what the price is for them. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments below. Because I think I might get one myself. And I, actually, I already got myself one. It's Jimmy Johnson. But I don't mind anybody else. Alright. So, this wraps up the video. So, if you like this video, leave a comment. Subscribe for more NASCAR, NASCAR diecast reviews. I try to put these out in any way that I can. It's been rough in the past few weeks. Had to deal with some uh, drama outside of YouTube. But other than that, it's like I'll be fine. So, anyway, my name's Dustin, and I will see you guys in another video.